My name's Ella Havel. I am from Free Kicks for Kids in Colchester. We recently sent out an email to our volunteer bakers. We were finding that it was the same people who were volunteering all the time to make the cakes and hence we were struggling to get all our cakes met. But the feedback which we got was basically some of the cakes which we'd been showing were of such a high standard that they felt a bit inadequate and they weren't skillful enough. We're not asking for professionalism. But what we did say is we would put some tutorials together to try and show you some of the basics of cake decorating. We will cover some of our cake making and we will cover decorating and simple skills. And we'll also show you the equipment to use, fudge. So this is chocolate fudge cake which has been baked, cooled and just left overnight. What you will need, some of the equipment you will need, is you will need a ceramic bowl. I have got a disc which goes the same size or a little bit bigger of the actual cake. I cut out a greaseproof paper circle to cover that too. You need a spoon. We need a palette knife, serrated edge knife, we need a side scraper. I try and use the metal ones because what we have over here is some boiling water. We use a spirit level. I've got here a um, cake turntable, but you can use a Lazy Susan. I have here a non-slip mat but you can just use some blue tack to be able to stick your cake drum to. And what I have here is a 10 inch cake drum. I also have a bit of my um, kitchen roll here to put all my cake bits on that I've cut off. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to make a ganache. Okay, so chocolate ganache around our cake because chocolate ganache and chocolate fudge cake oh, so what I use, which is very, very cheap, is plain chocolate flavoured cake covering. Okay, it's not actually chocolate, but when you use the plain one, it comes out delicious every time and all my customers absolutely love it. So this will cover probably three of these size cakes. So I try and do them in big batches. So all you need to do is right down to what I need. So what we do is we break up the chocolate in here. And this is 300 grams, 300 pound cake covering. I think these work out about 59p per 300 grams, which is excellent value. So I use one of them, two of them, break So it ends up that we have 700 grams in total of this plain chocolate flavoured covering. So the idea is obviously to keep the costs down because you're giving a cake away for free. If you feel that your baking skills aren't good enough, you could actually cheat and use a cake packet. But what we do is we ask that a fresh cake be made. We don't want just want to go and buy one of the supermarket and bless the family with that. Okay, so I've got, we're going to do a third of this cake here. So we're going to use a third of another packet. So one, two, three, four. So that is two rows and four of those. Okay. Put them to the side. And then just make sure you've broken all the bits out here. As many as you can, because it just makes it so much easier. Now you could do it um, over the, the, the cooker top and melt it over some boiling water but with all of my cake recipes I try and do everything with ease and speed because that is what I don't have a lot of time on is time because yeah my life is very very busy okay all broken up okay so we just put this in the microwave for two minutes While we're waiting for that to do, 
want to get my cake on here. So unwrap the cake. And you've got some bulges and things in there which we want to just get rid of and smooth it out. Now nobody probably notices sharp edges or anything, but you'll know when you've made a nicely covered cake. Okay, so what I do is I look on this, and that is way skew if. Spot on. <laughs> uh, not that side though. Okay, so here, so the spirit level, I'm just going to slice off here. Stick into my kitchen roll, let's have a look. Oh no, it's still going off a bit. So I'll just slice that. Right in the middle, and the same again with this side. It's good to start with any base. There we go. It's good to start with any base of putting it right underneath everything. It's almost like I, I refer it to like paint decorating. Um, you need to get your first coats right to make everything else on top look very pretty. Okay, so we have these two cakes here. And we've got some edges which look a bit horrible, so we're going to slice them off. Like this. And down this side. And just trim it all off. And if you want, you can save all your offcuts and eat them later. <laughs> right, okay, and that was my chocolate beeping ready. Okay. Put that aside. Right, so I'll put that in for two minutes, give it a good old stir. It's still not all melted yet. But what you don't want to do is to burn the chocolate. And it's kind of quite easy to handle. A really good stir. And that, that bowl does feel quite warm now. Put that in again for a minute and a half. What I have here is the good old cocktail sticks. These are brilliant for lining up your cake. So you don't need to have an expensive cake leveller to be able to do this. So what we do is we put these into here so we can mark where we're going to cut the cake. And then what we can do is we can line that up again. Alright, so you can see that. Okay. And then we put the ganache in here. Ganache here. Cut this one. So we'll get some more cocktail sticks. Ganache this. Put it all together and we've got a lovely tall four inch cake. Okay, so I've got a couple more cocktail sticks here. Stick them in. Cut that one. It's nice to have like four layers of lovely rich chocolate ganache. That doesn't matter. Got a little bit broken off, but don't fret about it. It's all about not being scared of what you're doing. So I'll just put that aside. A nice clean board. Okay. Ganache out now. All oh, lovely and smooth now. You can see all of that. It's very free flowing now. Okay. See? So that's 700 grams of plain cake covering. And that's what I say. It's about 59p each. And you can get that at home bargains. Um, and I've seen it in Tesco's as well. And then what you need is 300 grams of a double cream. Now some recipes say to put all this in together and put it in the microwave, but this takes ages for this to set. And again, time is on our side, so I just put the cold cream in. But you have to whisk it really, really quickly so then it doesn't curdle. So just pour that all round. There we go. And good whisk up. And then it should start to go thick very quickly.
And what you want to do is mix all of that lovely yummy double cream. starting to thicken now so that should be ready for sandwiching on our cakes if it's not if it's still a little bit runny it probably means that the chocolate was still a bit too hot yeah, lovely so what you need to do is just leave it say for about 10 minutes keep coming back to it but you should see it thickening up by then i'll just clean up some of this and then we'll get on with the next part 